guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. So I'll be showing you guys the different applications I use and what kind of filters I use to um, try to make those aesthetic pictures on my Instagram feed. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. I love taking pictures and I uh, spend a lot of time editing them too because I want all the pictures on my feed to look a certain way I feel like your Instagram feed can kind of be like a portfolio or like I don't know your artwork so I try to match the photos on my feed so if you look at my Instagram my Instagram has been through lots of changes so when I first started Instagram I was trying to make these white um, backgrounds and black frames and that took so long to make so as you can see that didn't last very long and then I started to do this horizontal vertical horizontal vertical to make them kind of I like the way that looked it was very aesthetically pleasing but it was just too much work so I kind of gave up after a while too now when I look at my Instagram I don't know, I can just say that uh, I'm trying to make it look a little warm but I don't know, it's not looking the most um, consistent but I do try I try really hard guys <laughs> Alright, so let me show you guys some tips and tricks that I use uh, to edit my Instagram pictures Over here, I have um, my favorite apps that I like to use for my pictures these six are the ones that I use the most. Visco, I used to edit all my pictures. Nomo and Huji, when I feel like taking film camera style pictures. And then um, Photoshop Fix to you know fix and blur and heal, you know, use those tools. And Snapseed also for the same reason. And then this application, UNUM, 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. Just to see what picture I should upload next uh, to see what will match my feed. So I know some of you guys might be thinking like, oh my gosh, this is so much work. Why do you put yourself through this? But I don't know, I just like to look at it and like it kind of pleases me when it looks a certain way. So I will go into Visco and show you some of the filters that I use. My most uh, used filters right now is M5. I bought a few of the presets and not all of these are free. I remember I bought the A series. Um, I got this one for free, dog, dog series. Uh, I bought the J series, which I never use and I regret because, I don't know, it just never looks good with the type of photos that I take. Maybe if you're like a nature photographer or you take a lot of pictures of the landscapes, then this series, J series, might be good. But with my pictures, I don't know. I don't like it when my pictures are too saturated, so I like to use a filter that will kind of desaturate my pictures like this. It makes it look warmer too. So these have been the filter that I used. This one was also M5. Uh, this I didn't upload, but this is M5. This was uh, M5. This is M5. Yeah, everything these days has been M5. I just like the warmth that um, it kind of gives you. So I used some um, applications to kind of delete any unwanted things in the background. It's called the healing tool. So to show you an example with this let's find a picture that i used this tool on um, yes so for this one if you look closely you will see that the background here over here it's like all distorted and that is because i erased this huge sign that was up there because i just felt like there was too much going on oh i also erased something here right there if you see it you see that it's distorted there was something there if you look closely you'll be able to notice so I'll go into this Photoshop Fix app. I have this photo loaded right here. I want to get rid of this blue um, banner on the top and this person, right? So I'll click on healing and then I'll do it a little at a time. This is basically how I do it. And then to delete this person, this is going to be a bit more difficult. I mean, this is still going to look pretty weird. Cause you're just like whoa what happened that we're there that's all i want to leave there for now this is a really bad job so you just gotta you know click undo and just try it a few times to see uh, what will work best in this situation or in this uh, photo i think 
that's pretty I think that's pretty um, noticeable but <laughs> I feel like that's the best I can do right now I mean people aren't gonna be like zooming into your picture so they won't be able to notice that just makes it a li little like less messy this is what I do to get rid of some unnecessary things in the background and this is what it looks like before and after before after before after so the next application I want to talk about is Nomo and this uh, is a point and shoot vintage film camera and I actually bought the pro version I don't remember how much it was but I think it's worth it because you get all these uh, different types of cameras so the newest one was inspired by Contax T3 with the color of Kodak gold film so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you take a picture of this So this is what it looks like. Okay, that's a bad picture. That's what it looks like. Oh, this one doesn't have the timestamp. Uh, Cause the other cameras have the timestamp. This one, for example, if I take it like that, there will be a timestamp there. For those of you guys who like the old vintage feel, then I recommend Nomo. And also Huji, this is good. Um, I also paid for this too, so I can edit my pictures after I take them instead of just having to use this camera right away. So if I take a picture of what's in front of me right now, this is what it looks like. Over here I have a picture that is too dark since we have the backlight so I just want to brighten that up a little bit right not the overall picture but just this little segment so what you, you can do on Snapseed is you can use tools click on selective and then choose the area you want to brighten you can make it bigger or smaller but I want this whole area to be brighter right so I will put the brightness up and then instantly you have a less dark picture you're just uh, brightening up the shadow parts so it's easier to edit you can also add places too if you feel like you need more brightening in other areas you can also add an area over there you can brighten it up like that and add another area once it's done I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna show you how I edit that one over here so I'll open that up and I will do M five but i'll bring it down to like anywhere between a five and a six uh this looks good too 12 all the way up here i mean i love the fall colors i love how autumny it looks and how warm it looks uh but this 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 is not what my feed looks like right now so i'll just leave it perfectly at six and that's the difference it makes and then i'll go into exposure i'll make it a little brighter if i need to or a little darker uh, maybe I'll, a little goes a long way, so I'm just gonna make it a little brighter and then sharpen it as well and add about 2.0 of grain and that's what it looks like. For this picture too, it was like this and then I used 6.5 of this. 12.0 would make it look way too washed out, so I'm just gonna leave it at 6.5 and that's the difference. These days, you know, I don't know what picture to upload next. I can move them around and see what looks good, see if this is the way I want it. And then, like, if I once I uh, decide on it, then I'll upload the next one. I honestly don't know what the next picture is going to be yet. By the time this video is uploaded, I probably have another, I probably will have another photo that I uploaded after this. Those were the six major apps I used. I would love to read what kind of tips you guys might have for editing pictures. So please let me know down below on the comment box. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. And I look forward to seeing your aesthetic pictures as well. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next video. Shine on loves!